last six years, we've been scrapping it out. We are going in a completely new direction. Welcome to Bums on a Boat, where actions speak louder than words. Our past and words like bum, loser, success, or failure do not define us. We are what we choose to do now. Wish me luck on this adventure. Let's go, baby! What's up? Welcome back to Bums on a Boat. My name is Michael. This is Joel. And guys, we are going in a completely new direction. For the last six years, we've been scrapping it out. Basically, as minimalists in the cruising world, we've completed the thorny path, which is from the United States all the way down to the Southern Caribbean. We're in Grenada now, and that is against the wind, against the current. So it's not a long distance, maybe 2,000 nautical miles in that area, but it's hard-earned miles. And we've done it um, without using pretty basic equipment that most 21st century cruisers are using these days. There have been some incredible people in our lives, some viewers, some patrons, some friends of ours who are helping us out. They sent us an um, astonishing amount of equipment. We're gonna reveal all of these items and tell you how it's gonna change our boat life forever mm -hmm. and also our plans moving forward so we can fill up the cruising kitty, give you timelines and all that. And but first, we're gonna catch you up because I know you're probably wondering what the heck, where are you guys? Where's the boat? What's going on? Bye, shock. So it pays to have friends in the cruising world, and we are so grateful for our friends Alex and Mandy because pretty much the day or two after we left, there was this super storm. What we were most nervous about when we left Shock Mate was there was, we were getting water leaking in from our tow rail, from wherever deck fittings. We sealed up all of our stanchions. So we re-bedded re all of our stanchions and that made a difference, but we were still seeing water in the bilge after rain. So we were a little concerned. Alex let us know that there was a crazy <laughs> little squall and he offered to go check on our boat. And he even brought you guys along with him. Hey, you don't know me. I'm a friend of uh, Bums on a Boat and I'm gonna check on their boat because yesterday we had insane squalls that what well, usually the squalls are like five minutes, ten minutes max, but that one was crushing the island for hours. So the whole afternoon we had rain pouring down like crazy and they told me they have a leaky boat. So let's see how much water is in the bilge. I can't even see it. There it is. Just kidding, guys, it's still there. Well, the water line seems to be the same. Shouldn't be that much. All right, let's have a look. This is actually the first time that I'm on Chak Matai. Never have I been invited. All right, let's do this. Looks dry. Floorboards are okay. Let's check the build. Wow, would you look at that? Battery is full. Yeah, that's good stuff. Great to see you, guys. All right, I managed to open the hatch to the engine. There's some water in the small bilges. It doesn't look too bad, though. All right, we got some water here. Negligible. Here. Half a nail deep. Be a nail deep. Let's see if the bilge does something. Alright, Joel said move it to starboard. And now bilge pump forward. Good enough. All right, back off. Let's go. Ooh. 
Everything else looks great, guys. These guys are incredible. Be sure to check out their channel, see the little things, and let them know that the bums sent you. Yeah, and tell them thank you for uh, being on the bums team. So I know you're probably curious, where the heck in the world are we right now? And we are in Washington State. My family has a farm in eastern Washington. And that's where we are right now. We're reconnecting with family and friends. We're on a mission to do some work, to earn some money, to buy some amazing equipment for our boat. And we just want to share with you a little bit of the stuff that we've been up to. There is a pretty exciting event that we got to volunteer at when we first got in. So this is the 2022 Web Slew Sprint Boat Races. We're here volunteering in the beer garden. Taylor, right? I don't remember. Remembered me though. My dad organizes for the St. John Golf Course. It's an annual event and I think this is the third or fourth time that I've been included in the uh, the whole event. Collecting you got money. Roped into work. Roping yeah. into work. Yeah, it's not bad though. It's actually really fun to be here. You get to see boats light on fire. A bunch of crazy people down there in the beer garden. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Holy smokes! So it happens every year in June and August here in St. John, Washington. And if you're a fan of races, like our pal and patron, Uncle Muir, then this is something that you should definitely check out. So what is this new direction that we're going in? We've been hinting at it a little bit, but basically we've been sailing an antique sailboat. We have a 1974 Carter 33. She's a solid boat. We love her. And we've been sailing and cruising with pretty much the bare minimum, the bare necessities. And what we want to do is turn her into a much more comfortable boat, we want to modernize her with like all the technology and cool stuff that most people cruise with these days and turn her into just this epic ocean crossing machine. Well, because we want to cross the Atlantic, so we're not done yeah. with Shock Mate. So reason is, it's kind of like this nostalgic, poetic idea, but our boat was built in Greece and we want to cross an ocean for ourselves. So we think like, how cool would it be for us to sail our boat back to Greece yep. and turn her into just the best boat that we possibly can. Okay, so the first round of incredible boat equipment that we're going to share with you is from Captain Aaron. He's active on Instagram as X Pirate Marine, and he's about to start his own YouTube channel also called X Pirate Marine. And this guy, we've been exchanging messages online for a while now. He is basically an expert at all things boat repair, maintenance, probably even boat building. Like he just knows everything there is to know about boats. And he's had a boat restoration business for quite a while in California. Now he's traveling all over the world, repairing boats, selling them. So he is an amazing guy. And he reached out to us and offered to send us tons of valuable equipment completely for free. So the first things we'd like to share with you is this AIS enabled VHF. So we don't have an AIS on our boat. We don't have a radar. The only way that we scan for container ships or passing boats of any kind is just, you know, the good old fashioned way, eyes on the horizon constantly. Whoa. Just let that guy get a little further. We were kind of on an intersecting course there. Well, good morning. Yikes, that's a good way to wake up. So having an idea 
of where those fast moving cargo ships are at is total peace of mind when you're out there sailing the open waters, especially for nighttime crossings. Now, the second amazing thing that he sent us is a brand new Echo Map 50S Garmin GPS that uses the G2 charts and the GPS that we've been using uses the G1 charts. It's basically a relic. It doesn't even always find our GPS location. So most of the time we use Navionics on our phone. So a ton of sailors use Navionics on their phone. It's an amazing tool to have, but it's really best to have as a backup. So most people have like an integrated built-in GPS that's mounted, that's waterproof, that's constantly running, that's plugged into the boat's power so you don't have to worry about plugging it in, the battery dying, or it getting wet, you know, because these things are not waterproof. And if your phone goes down out there, like, you're pretty much done for. So something like this is way more re reliable, way more accurate, and we can't wait to have this installed on Shock Mate. So this is a manual windlass, also sent to us by Captain Aaron. Right now, our ground tackle situation works, but it's, it's kind of sad. We have a mantis anchor, which we love, and then we have about 20 feet of chain, and then the rest is about 200 feet of anchor line. And it works in the Caribbean, where the anchorages are nice and shallow, but planning on heading to the Med, where anchorages are super deep and we're gonna ha wanna have a lot more chain, having a windlass will make all the difference in the world. And he also created these gorgeous teak mounting plates and backing plates and sent us all the hardware that we need to install it. So this is a mounting rack for a life raft. And all I can really say about our life raft game up to this point is that we have one, but it's pretty sad. We're fortunate to have one thanks to our buddy, Luke Baruch, who, who gave it to us when we left Florida. Excited for you guys. Yeah. Feeling ready to go. Goosebumps. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I got some goosebumps yeah. over it. I think it's about seven o'clock AM. We left at three. We're going directly into the wind. He was like, you guys are going offshore, you need this. But he's like, I don't know when the last time it's been serviced is. It's a big, heavy, like soft-sided suitcase thing. And we really have no good place to store it. So we just lashed it to the freaking binnacle, which means that if we had a serious situation where we needed to deploy that life raft like ASAP, we would not be able to. <laughs> so before we cross an ocean, we are definitely going to get a brand new life raft we're gonna mount it using this rack to our cabin top and we're gonna just check all those safety boxes. Lights! Don't worry guys, we have been sailing with navigation lights the past six years, but we haven't always had our anchor light up and running and Aaron just had these and he threw them in totally for free. Some massive lights. This one's for an anchor light that is gonna make us see be able to be seen from like 20 miles away. Okay, I want you guys to guess what this next big incredible piece of kit is and I'm gonna I'm gonna warm you up with a couple accessories, right? So we got UV resistant thread. We got a whole mess of zippers. We got snap. We got a snap assortment with a snap canvas kit, including a tool. And we got button studs. Can you guys guess where this is going? Huh? Huh? So this piece of thick, heavy suede is also part of it. And this piece of kit is going to make the biggest difference for us by far. Guys, we've been sailing upwind, up current, is that how you say that? Against the current. We've been beating into it for thousands of miles without a freaking dodger, also called a spray hood. Straight into it, lashing. I haven't seen any other cruising <laughs> sailboat in the waters that we're cruising without a dodger. Like, it's basically insane what we've been doing. Just want you to know that it's possible. So if you don't have a dodger, you don't need one, but you definitely probably should get one. And that's what Aaron sent to us.
So this is it. This is our Dodger, guys. This is an entire roll of white vinyl that's going to look so sharp. It's enough to redo our bimini. We already have the bimini frame. There's isinglass in here, which is like a flexible um, see-through material that forms your windshield that you can look through. And this is the custom-built Dodger frame that's going to bring it all together. So we sent Captain Aaron custom measurements of our boat and he constructed a super heavy duty Dodger frame for us. It's got three feet on each side, so it's gonna be mounted super strong. It's got these handles to go on the outside to give it even more rigidity. So this thing is gonna be built about as solid as you can possibly get. He literally sent us everything that we could possibly need to build a Dodger except for a sewing machine. but we've got an idea for how we're gonna borrow a sewing machine and make this all happen. Oh my gosh, Aaron, we literally cannot thank you enough. Aaron, if you're watching, thank you so much. We have a lot of work to do, thanks to you. Woo! And we can't wait to get, get these jobs started. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's gonna make such a big yeah, difference Yeah, this is us. gonna change, change the game. I'm super excited about this one. The next couple packages come from Bill Bull, who is a loyal viewer and patron of ours. Why am I so excited about this in particular? Because I like to jump off things. Right now, it's a little bit tough to get up the mast, but it'll be a little easier once we install these mast steps here that fold up and he gave us enough to get all the way to the top of the mast. So it's gonna make Michael's life easier because she doesn't have to be down there winching me up. We can still have our safety gear on, but I can just climb right up. And if I wanna jump off the spreaders or something in the morning, don't even have to wake Michael up. I can just climb up, jump off, all good. Also from Bill Bull. Now this isn't gonna change boat life for us, but how cute is this? This is called an endoscope. So if Michael and I wanna do some DIY colonoscopies, we can use this, but most likely we're not gonna do that with this. What we can use this for, it's like a tiny camera on a wire. So if you need to see like into like exhaust hose if something's clogged, or if you wanna see up into the mass, a complete tap and die set. Also from Bill Bull, is digital caliper here. So this comes in handy if you wanna measure, you know, maybe a hose and you're not sure, you wanna make sure you get the right size or bolts or any of that. All right, so this package came from Philip Payson, who's a patron of ours. He noticed that we lost our GoPro 7 and we were filming on GoPro 4s. And he said, guys, I love you, but the quality is just not great. I'm gonna help you out. So we actually did, we're already using it, the GoPro 10. This is brand new, but we've already put it into work and uh, the accessories, uh, everything you can possibly need. So there's extra batteries in here, SD card, there's a, uh, you know, selfie sticks, there's um, head mounts, uh, wind canceling uh, sleeve. Uh, I, I mean, it, 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 this is unbelievable, you guys, a GoPro 10. So this is going to help us get those action shots, the underwater shots. You know, if you're in the middle of something, you just, uh, you know, you, uh, you're trying to pull and you, uh, and you pull the sail, you know, in the action, you can get that shot where normally with the other cameras, you just, you can't do that. So GoPro is something we've always used, but uh, we've, uh, we've been using some pretty stale old ones for a while now. The final gifts are from Sandra Renwick. So she is on a boat called SV Second Wind and she does a canvas business called, this is a great name, That About Covers It. She made these seat covers to match our sail cover. So Shock Mate is going to be looking so good with her all white bimini and dodger, her blue sail cover and blue seats. Guys, I just can't even wait. So what we've realized in this time of cruising the Caribbean, working on our boat in exotic locations, is that we absolutely love this way of life. We wanna keep doing it, we wanna go further, and we wanna 
just be more comfortable while doing it and feel really good about our boat. Yeah, so we're here to do some good old fashioned labor. We're gonna work our butts off. Michael's going to work harvest here on the farm. Opportunity came up because her sister Erin is just about to have a baby girl. So she's gonna be out of the game for harvest and normally her, her sister runs the farm um, underneath her dad. And so Michael's gonna take over and it's a great opportunity. So she's gonna be full time on the farm, saving up for these couple um, jobs that we're gonna tell you. And I am gonna be putting on some roofs. I've done this before. It's, it's uh, you know hard labor, but it's nothing I can't handle and I'm excited for the opportunity. So we're just gonna be working to save up money on our own because... The last few projects, so all of these amazing projects, equipment are going to be installed. We can't wait to do that. And in addition, what we feel we need in order to cross oceans and cruise more comfortably is brand new rigging <laughs> and a water maker and self-steering, so a wind vane or a hydro vane. Yeah, so we've been using the autopilot and it's gone out on us tons of times. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, you know, it runs off battery, it's mechanical. It was broken when we bought the boat and we've kind of fixed it, but it just keeps going down. So we wanna have um, more of a simple autopilot that doesn't rely on batteries. We want a wind vane and those mm -hmm. are pretty pricey. And the final item on our list is kind of sad to say because we've been, We've been limping along with our dinghy and good old Johnson, but we're being realistic and ultimately a new dinghy and a new outboard yeah, would for cruising, make a difference. Yeah, our Johnny's kind of going down and really it enhances cruising life so much when you mm -hmm. have uh, a dinghy and an outboard that can get you where you want to go, not only reliably, but even a little quicker because that opens up the cruising world so much more for diving, for exploring. Mm -hmm. If your dinghy is super slow and not reliable, and goes you're, you're kind of trapped. Every hour. Yeah, yeah, and our, so our dinghy's on its last leg. So you guys, that's, even though we have all of this, and this mm -hmm. is, you know, this is gonna change the game forever, you know, rigging, the wind vane, the jobs we mentioned, it's yeah. gonna be a pretty penny. Yeah. So we are here to work to make this happen, and we hope that you guys stick with us and stay tuned through this transition period where we're off the boat for a little bit of time. I hope you're excited. So even though we're off the boat, we are not going to stop putting out videos. So what we've got are about 10 terabytes of footage captured over the last six years. And what we'd like to share with you guys are targeted episodes. So informational episodes about where we've been, what we've done, boat projects, places that we've gone, you know, our relationship, anything that you guys would Sailing like to know. Sailing with a dog, living in Dominican Republic for two years, yeah. completing the thorny path, um, buying a boat for $10,000 and, you know, <laughs> limping it along for six years. Sailing super simplistic, minimalistic. Yeah, that's what we've done and that's what we want to share with you more about. Well, we want to hear from you what would be interesting. Yeah, we've got some amazing ideas from the patrons, so we are gonna prioritize those ideas, but light us up in the comments, guys. What do you want to know more about? What is gonna be useful to you? Or entertaining. In your journey. It doesn't have, yeah, or it could be fun. Absolutely. What would you guys like to hear about? Because yeah. we have basically just a free reign to make any kind of videos that yeah. we want, and we're gonna have fun with it while we're here working. So we're gonna be doing farm work and roofing and we're still gonna be putting videos out for you guys. So yeah. I think this is uh, the bums turning the page. Yeah. Isn't that what they say? This Turn the page. A big turning point that, in our journey. Yeah, here I am up on the stage. You know that song? No. These are the tales of Boab. And the bums.